I would say 15 minutes to warm up or so and the kids were warming up and you could tell that she was a little frazzled by the environment. Well, what was happening, I was doing a vault and I was running and then I like pigeon foot my toe and then I just went crooked and then I wasn't thinking so I didn't know what happened and then he just caught me and I was just like, oh, I don't know what happened. You know, our gym is 10,000 square feet, so um, whenever they go to a different space, even the space can change the way that they see an apparatus. You know, you put the vault runway is 80 feet long, you put that in our gym, it looks one way, and then you put it in a 60,000 square foot facility, facility and it seems a little smaller. I could tell in her warm up that she was not dead on, and so. I don't know why, but I was like, I'm going to stand, you know, beside the judges. Coach Chad, does he usually catch you when you make a mistake? Yeah, <laughs> that wasn't the first time he caught me. Do you often do those jumps? Yeah, I do it every day. And, and did you know that you were going to make a mistake on that one? No, I was just vaulting, so I didn't know what was going to happen. Um, and then it really went sideways. I knew, but I, I didn't even have time to like think. I just ran in to grab her. If you didn't catch me, I would have been like, well, I would have not trusted him, but then I would have, like, not ha have trusted him as much as I do now. I could tell in her warm-up that she was not dead on, and so I don't know why, but I was like, I'm going to stand you know, beside the judges. And you can't stand in front of the judges uh, for obvious reasons. Uh, so I was I was like, I'll stand right beside him. And as soon as she did her hurdle and I saw her front foot turn in, um, and then it really went sideways, I knew. That I, I didn't even have time to like think, I just ran in to grab her.